Do you want to take your communication skills to a whole new level? Well, you're in the right place. In today's video, we are diving deep into the incredible Milton Model Neurolinguistic Programming Technique. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to enhance your interactions, this technique is a game changer. Stick around as we reveal the secrets to an impactful communication that can truly transform your personal and professional relationships. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon. We also have a special giveaway for you, so stay tuned till the end. The Milton model is a powerful communication tool in neuro-linguistic programming and it's named after the legendary psychotherapist Milton Erickson. This technique is all about influencing and guiding conversations to create a deeper connection and understanding. Let's break down the basics. The Milton model involves using language patterns that tap into the subconscious mind, leading to enhanced effective communication. These patterns include vague language, embedded commands, presuppositions and much more, all designed to bypass your resistance and open up the door to receptive communication. In this video, we will talk about vague language pattern. Imagine being able to spark curiosity and keep your listeners engaged effortlessly. That's where vague language comes in. Instead of being overly direct, you will learn how to use open-ended phrases that invite your audience to explore their thoughts further. In 2007, the first generation iPhone was launched with slogan, This changes everything. By not specifying what exactly is changing, Apple created anticipation and curiosity around their new iPhone releases, prompting audiences to wonder about the innovative features. That's exactly what is called as vague language. There are many such brilliant examples of how ad agencies use vague language. L'Oreal's famous tagline, because you are worth it, doesn't elaborate on what exactly makes the audience worth it, leaving room for interpretation and creating a personal connection with their products. Similarly, BMW's iconic slogan, The Ultimate Driving Machine, sparks curiosity about what makes their vehicles stand out from the rest without specifying the details. Netflix's tagline, See What's Next, hints at a future filled with exciting content, encouraging viewers to anticipate upcoming releases on the platform. One of the Coca-Cola's taglines, Open Happiness, is intentionally open-ended inviting audiences to explore how the brand can bring happiness to their lives. It's not just the ad agencies. Filmmakers, famous authors, lawyers and good public speakers effectively make use of vague language to keep audience engaged. So how do we use vague language in our day-to-day -day life? Here are 10 ways you can use vague language effectively. Active listening. When someone shares their feelings or experiences, respond with vague language that shows you are actively listening and empathizing, saying things like, I can imagine that must have been tough, or it sounds like you're going through a lot. These phrases acknowledge their emotions without making assumptions. Offering support. If someone needs help, but you're unsure about your availability, use vague language to convey your willingness at the least. For example, say, I'll see what I can do, or Let's figure something out to show your intention without making commitment. Feedback and constructive criticism. When providing feedback, use vague language to soften your criticism. Instead of making strong statements like this is wrong, try saying there might be an opportunity to improve this aspect. Dealing with uncertain plans. If you're unsure about your plans, you can always say I might be available or I'm considering it, instead of giving a definite yes or no. Handling disagreements. During disagreements, using vague language can help maintain a respectful tone instead of saying, you are wrong. You can instead say, I see where you're coming from, but I have a different perspective. Avoiding overcommitment. If you are cautious about taking on too much, say, I'll keep that in mind or I'll think about it instead of giving an immediate answer. Expressing interest. When someone shares their plans or ideas, use vague language to express enthusiasm without making promises by saying, that sounds interesting or I'm intrigued by that idea. That shows your interest without committing. 
providing general advice. When giving advice, especially when you're not sure about the best course of action, use vague language, saying things like, you might want to consider that, or it could be worth exploring. This presents suggestions without insisting on a specific solution. Exploring new opportunities. When faced with new opportunities, use vague language to express your curiosity, saying things like, I would be interested in learning more, or I'm open to exploring this further, keeping the doors open without committing right away. Reflecting on feelings. If you're unsure about your emotions in certain situation, use vague language again to express your contemplation, saying, I'm still processing how I feel about it, or I'm not entirely sure yet. This acknowledges your internal exploration. All right, we uncovered 10 different ways you can use vague language of the Milton model NLP technique. I have created a comprehensive PDF with 100 similar phrases that can help you master the art of using vague language effectively in your daily communications, which can truly enhance your interactions, putting them to use. I'm giving this PDF away for free to all our subscribers as a token of gratitude. To grab your copy, just follow these simple steps. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give a thumbs up. Leave a comment sharing what you have learned from this video. What was your biggest takeaway? And then click on the link in the pinned comment or description to submit your registered email ID and download the PDF. Remember, your email ID should be same as the email ID with which you are logged into YouTube for subscribing, liking and commenting. Communication is a powerful tool and with the right techniques, you can open doors, connect deeply and influence positively. In the next video, I'll share mind reading language pattern and technique within the Milton model. So stay tuned, keep practicing and watch your communication skills soar to a new high. See you in the next video.